If you're looking for a new method to do green screen compositing, I've got a secret recipe for you that'll change the way you do things. What's up filmmakers and VFX artists of YouTube, Ryan Constantino here with Upper State Entertainment. And today I wanna to share with you my secret recipe that I use to do green screen compositing and color keying in After Effects. So let's get right to it. Okay, so for those of you who might be more advanced and you wanna just get straight to the list, click here and that'll take you to further along in the video where I will show you all the plugins used uh, for my secret uh, recipe green screen. You know, being a filmmaker or a VFX artist means that you're gonna be working with a lot of green screen. And of course, the best way to make your green screen and your compositing look really good in visual effects is to shoot it and light it correctly. I could make an entire another video on how to shoot and light a green screen correctly. But let's assume that uh, you lit it well, you shot it well, and you're ready to do the compositing. And of course, most of the plugins I'm using here are gonna be aftermarket plugins for After Effects, but uh, there are ways to do um, every single one of these things uh, with stock After Effects. The first thing you need to do, of course, when it comes to green screen, is to uh, do ro any rotoscoping or camera tracking that might be necessary for your shot. In this case, I did the 3D motion track and uh, did the garbage mat and it's gonna look something like this. And uh, for the background, I'm just gonna use uh, the Trapcode Horizon plugin and uh, to give me that, uh, that city background just like that. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first plugin I like to use in my secret recipe is called Spill Slayer. Now, Spill Slayer is a plugin that will kill any green spill on your uh, color keyed subject. Now, Spill Slayer has a bunch of different functions and I'm gonna be using two of them uh, for this tutorial. Uh, the first way that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to amp up the green channel in the existing footage by using the suppression mode. And you do that by uh, clicking enable color replace. Now, and what it's doing is it's taking all of the green in the scene and replacing it with a pre-designated color. In this case, it's uh, showing us red. Now, what we wanna do is click on the color and um, we want to do 100% green. So uh, once you've got a full green color, you can take the suppression slider and uh, it's kind of lower it a little bit to start amping up that green channel and get you a little bit extra push when it comes to uh, getting that color key. Okay, so once you've amped up your green channel, the plugin that I like to use that drives the color key is uh, Primat. Now, uh, this is a plugin made by Red Giant and um, it's very handy, it's got a lot of different tools to it. The reason I like it the most is because it allows you to sample individual ranges of green color and tell the plugin, I wanna keep these and get rid of these. And we do that by clicking the sampling style. I like to use the rectangle. And then all you gotta do is click and drag in a green area of the green screen and you'll see that it'll start keying out your content. Um, once you've selected your first batch of green, jump into the mat and then you can see what parts needs to be cleaned up. You can clean up the background or the foreground by clicking one of these two buttons in the selection tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the foreground. Of course, we need her face, and then this is her chin area. And of course, you can clean the background by clicking clean background and then selecting the uh, additional large green areas in the background. It's doing a pretty good job. And you can flip back to your comp to see where you're at. It's looking pretty good. Another way to determine how well your color key is going is to flip back to the mat and then use the exposure tools in After Effects to determine if there's any other leave-ins that have kind of are sitting around in the background. Okay, so once you've color keyed your clip, you'll notice that you've got all this nasty green spill on your subject, which is the bane of existence for VFX artists all around the world. The good news is that the uh, Spill Slayer plugin this is gonna be the second method uh, that we're gonna be using with this plugin. Uh, it does a really great job of really cleaning up all of that extra spill. Uh, one of the things I really like about Spill Slayer is that you can change the bias. And the bias allows you to, to, uh, to tune into the exact amount of uh, color replacement that you want for your edges. Now, uh, by default it's 50, and since Liz has red hair, you can uh, pump it up a little bit to about 60, and it'll actually match that color suppression in, uh, in the edges uh, quite nicely. All right, so once you've color keyed your subject, you need to clean up the edges a little bit. The next plugin that I like to use is Edge Blur. Now Edge Blur gives you that little bit of smoothing in between the background and uh, your subject uh, for a more natural you know, fall off uh, to get the background. 
Um, the default amount is four, but I like to kind of turn it down to two because I think that looks a little bit better. And of course, you could change that as much as you need to uh, you know to suit to suit the clip that you've got. So next up is light wrap. Light wrap is a function that allows you to take some of the colors from the background and allow it to spill onto your subject in the foreground. All you have to do is add light wrap to your clip. And then in the background layer, uh, you're going to want to select where, whatever your, your background clip is. And um, you can change the width on it to anything that you might think would be good for your clip, whatever looks the best. If we jump back to the beginning, you'll see we've got some light wrap happening on her shoulder here. And this is kind of without it. And this is with it. And that kind of gives you that natural looking um, reflection from the background onto the surfaces of your subject. And that really helps to blend them into the background. And last but not least, the final component of my secret recipe for green screen color key is Real Smart Motion Blur. Uh, Real Smart Motion Blur is a plugin that, uh, if you're not already familiar with it, it evaluates the pixels in each frame and then will create an artificial motion blur uh, using the optical flow of the clip. Now, in this case, um, it's essential portion of the color keying recipe because it further blends the background with the foreground. And you can see here how it um, blends into the background and uh, smooths it out much more nicely. And of course, um, this is uh, the most important plugin that you need if you're uh, shooting in front of fast moving objects. If you've got somebody's hand that's waving in front of a green screen and you key it out, you'll see that super hard, harsh edge. If you use Real Smart Motion Blur, that'll smooth it out, no problem. All right, so there it is. That's my secret recipe for color keying. And it is uh, Spill Slayer for amping the green channel, Primat Keyer for actually color keying the clip, Spill Slayer again for reducing the green spill, Edge Blur to further uh, blend the background with the foreground clip, uh, Light Wrap to wrap some of those colors from the background to the foreground, and of course, real smart motion blur to uh, <clears throat> really put the, uh, the the two together. And finally, a little bit of color correction um, as needed. Okay, so there it is. That's my secret recipe for green screen compositing and color keying in After Effects. Uh, feel free to leave me uh, any questions in the comments below if you have any. And I uh, hope that some of these tips can help you out uh, to add some realism uh, to some of your VFX shots in the future. And uh, if you've got any uh, requests for tutorials or cinematography or filmmaking tutorials, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.